All right. So here's that video. Well, it is for the K bar, and it's the Becker knives, BK2. It's an older knife, been around for years. You can see there. And uh, yeah, just picked that up. Uh, well, actually, got to order it, but uh, came in yesterday and uh, 120 bucks. These are Canadian prices, obviously, because uh, all I hear is everybody saying they're like 60 bucks in the States. <laughs> But uh, anyways, here she is. Got your bolts in there. Plastic grips. Texture blade, you can see that. Quarter inch thick. That's what I like about it. One of the knives I made last year was uh, I used a pry bar and uh, it was a quarter inch thick. And uh, beautiful knife I made, well. I would say so, but I uh, did that and made a case for it and uh, the handles, grips, whatever, and uh, gave it as a gift to the father-in-law and uh, he loved it. But the point was that it is a quarter inch thick, so everybody says this thing's a pry bar with an edge, which is pretty funny, but uh, it definitely is. You see all that there. Grip's real nice too. It's, uh, it's, it's smooth. I'm gonna probably make a set of grips for it, or uh, handles, whatever you wanna call them, scales. Um, the bottom part here fits real nice. If you've got big hands, you know, you can really get a good grip on this. And if you're batoning or anything, um, this part right here is gonna help out with that, plus your lanyard to connect to the bottom there if you're ever gonna to wanna to start doing some chopping. The bottom has a nice little little butt on it smash something hammer whatever you need to do and then I got my own little uh, edge I put on here as you can see that reflection just mint I'm enjoying doing that but uh, I put a 20 degree angle like it's already at a 20 degree angle angle from factory but uh, I just repro not reprofile but I uh, corrected a couple spots on it which was it's not focusing here but there we go. Right down here, around this area, it's uh, it was a little bit off right here when I put my blue marker on there and found my edge there. It was a little bit off, so I just corrected it and uh, went from uh, profile stone 320, 600, 1500, and uh, on one of these guys, a little Amazon special, which works pretty good actually. But uh, just dropped it out with the compound, and uh, yeah, I can cut S's in the paper, which is pretty cool. Shaves my hair pretty good. I got uh, <laughs> pretty bald on my arms right now, <laughs> but uh, you can see the little patches that are gone. <laughs> the practicing on there, but anyways, pretty happy with it. So, um, talking about the sheath, it's um, a plastic with a glass infused i think it's uh made something something to do with that they're saying and um they're saying that when you put it in here you know it rides against the bottom right here when it's uh going inside you can see the profile it's pretty tight fit and it dulls your blade every time you're taking it in and out um well i can confirm that it does and i'm pretty diligent on how i pull it out instead of like riding it on the bottom like this i'm favoring it to the top and uh, it still does it, so um, hopefully over time it'll just wear, and I'll have to keep stropping it every every couple uh, every uh, every few times I pull this out. But you know, for now it'll work. Uh, it's got your little tie down up here, but you don't really need that because it is super tight to put in and out. And I'm sure that's going to loosen up over time, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little knife. Um, it's about a pound, nice and heavy. The reviews were ridiculous on this thing, and uh, I lost faith in K-Bar years back. I had one of those U.S. Marine Corps uh, issued knives, pretty famous, the company for those um, back in the day, but uh, that's what got them going, I think. Um, I have one, 
120 bucks years back, seven, eight years ago, and I snapped it off right at the top here at the tang, and I just dropped my jaw and <laughs> I grabbed both pieces and chucked them in the fire at the time, and uh, didn't want to look at it ever again. <laughs> But um, I do have a couple other K-Bars, key bar, key and uh, those have been doing pretty good with the same plastic type handles, but uh, yeah, pretty happy with this one. This is a 1095 steel, um, so if you do ever strip this or get it wet, you know, you're going to get a little bit of rust on there. It's not stainless, but I'm not too worried about that. You know, take care of your knives and keep them sharp and clean and oiled and for this type of metal and you won't have a problem but you know it is what it is if you don't care about that then you know smash at it a hammer at it whatever it's meant to do do what you want to do with it but uh yeah i'll definitely be making some grips um if the price ever comes down for the ones that are pre-made they fit all the bk two three four or two what is it bk seven ten nine i think there's a whole bunch a line of these those are the ones i know of uh the grips all fit the same but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Maybe I'll do a video next time I'm gonna do a, a sharpening on it. I'll do a video on how to do that. It's pretty simple. But it uh, takes a minute to uh, get used to, to using that, that thing there, that jig. So, but the, anyways, that's pretty much it. Going to... Uh, end it right here and uh maybe one of the next videos hopefully i'll be at the range shooting the crawl and probably a video on making the grips or purchasing the grips and what it looks like i was thinking about uh following this profile here and sanding all this off and uh giving it a polish i kind of like think i would like that look but again I mod everything, modify everything that I can. I don't know why I can't leave things alone, but it's in my nature, so but that's pretty much it. All right.